On October 21, 2024, the South Korean Army marked a significant milestone by deploying its K-2 tanks and K-9 self-propelled howitzers for joint overseas exercises, a first in the nation's history. These exercises, conducted at the al Khalil Training Center in Qatar, underscore South Korea's increasing focus on fostering international military cooperation, particularly with Middle Eastern nations. A South Korean military contingent, comprising about 100 soldiers, alongside four K-2 Black Panther tanks and four K-9 Thunder self-propelled howitzers, embarked on this mission. Their journey, which covered over 12,000 kilometers, culminated in the docking of a South Korean Navy landing ship at the port of Doha on October 13. This marked the beginning of a rigorous training program alongside the Qatari Armed Forces. The deployment of South Korea's K-2 and K-9 highlights the nation's commitment to showcasing its advanced military technology on the international stage. Both vehicles are central to South Korea's defense strategy and its growing defense exports. The K-2 Black Panther, developed by Hyundai Rotom, is South Korea's premier main battle tank, intended to replace older M48 Patton tanks. This cutting-edge tank is armed with a 120mm cannon capable of firing on the move, utilizing an automatic loading system. It is powered by a 1,500-horsepower diesel engine, enabling speeds of up to 70 km per hour. The K-2 is known for its advanced protection systems, including reactive armor and anti-missile defenses, making it a formidable asset on the battlefield. The K-9 Thunder, designed by Hanwha Land Systems, is a 155mm self-propelled howitzer renowned for its mobility and firepower. Its 52 caliber gun has a maximum range of 40 kilometers and can fire six rounds per minute. Like the K-2, the K-9 is powered by a robust diesel engine, allowing it to reach speeds of up to 67 kilometers per hour. Its versatility has led to its adoption by numerous countries, including Poland, India, and Finland. The K-2 and K-9 serve as flagship products of South Korea's defense industry, reflecting the country's ability to produce high-performance systems for international markets. The K-2 has been adopted by the South Korean Army, with Poland being a notable international buyer of its variants. Meanwhile, the K-9 has achieved broader success, with customized versions exported to countries such as Turkey, Norway, and Australia. These systems demonstrate South Korea's capacity to deliver adaptable, reliable military solutions for diverse environments and combat scenarios. The joint exercises at the al Khalil Training Center, a vast desert facility stretching over 33 kilometers, are designed to test the operational capabilities of the participating military systems in challenging desert conditions. South Korean forces collaborated with Qatari soldiers, who fielded their own Leopard 2A7 tanks and PZH-2000 self-propelled howitzers, both manufactured in Germany. This provided a unique opportunity to compare the performance of South Korean systems against other leading defense platforms on the international market. The ongoing exercises, set to continue until October 27, follow a memorandum of understanding signed in February between South Korea and Qatar, aimed at strengthening defense cooperation. The exercises serve as a testament to the deepening bilateral relations and the exchange of military expertise between the two nations. In addition to the ground maneuvers, this deployment represents the first time a South Korean Navy landing ship has been used in the Middle East, highlighting the South Korean Armed Forces' ability to project power over long distances. This strategic move reflects South Korea's growing interest in building partnerships with Gulf states, further solidified by the presence of South Korea's ambassador to Qatar, Hyunsoo Yoon. Ambassador Yoon emphasized the symbolic importance of these exercises, coinciding with the 50th anniversary of diplomatic ties between the two nations. Beyond the immediate military collaboration, these exercises also serve as a platform for South Korea to demonstrate the durability and effectiveness of its military hardware in extreme conditions. The successful deployment of the K-2 tanks and K-9 howitzers in Qatar's desert environment reinforces their standing in the global defense market. Ambassador Yun further noted that the exercises offer an opportunity to showcase South Korea's defense products, emphasizing their capacity to meet the evolving demands of modern militaries. As South Korea continues to expand its defense exports and engage in international military cooperation, the successful deployment of the K-2 and K-9 systems in Qatar marks an important step in solidifying the nation's role as a key player in global defense. The ongoing collaboration between South Korea and Qatar not only strengthens military ties but also enhances the strategic presence of South Korean military technology on the global stage.